Welcome to my newest Airbnb. This is a full apartment style house. It's a three bedroom, one bath. It's been listed for about two weeks now. This video is gonna be a short video just showing you a quick tour of it and what I decided to do with everything. And I hope you like it. So follow me. To our first location. Here we have a Eufy Smart Lock. This is by Amazon. The brand you can see here is called Eufy. I normally use the Schlage and codes on my other Airbnbs but this one was on sale, so I decided to give it a shot. It's definitely more future-proof and cool, but there's some downsides to it too. And I'm actually making a video right now on YouTube comparing this lock with the Schlage. So if that's made already, link should be up in the bio. But the cool thing about this lock is that one, it can take a four digit to eight digit code, or two, it can take your fingerprint. So come close, watch as I... And like that, it's unlocked. Come on in. Come upstairs and you enter to the kitchen. My favorite part here is this kitchen cart for coffee. The, the crazy thing is there was nothing here before. This fridge was right here, but this space was empty. I went to Ikea and saw this island. This is more of a utility cart. It's really meant for like the garage to do work and whatnot, but it fits perfectly as another section. Like if you come here, you can see that it's a literal perfect fit. Like, it doesn't get any better than that. That's the kitchen cart. You come over here. This is the kitchen space where they'll do all their cooking and whatnot. I installed some LED kitchen cabinet lights, which I think helps out a lot with the whole area because now it adds more light to the space. Also, if you look at the countertop, this is vinyl paper wrap, basically, that you put over the counter. I'll put a before and after what it used to look like here. From afar, it looks great. When you get a little close, you can tell it's added in, but I still think it looks cool. Here we have just another drying rack that adds more utility to the space. As you can see, there's not too much space here, but adding this gives them more utility. They can do their dishes, dry their stuff. Uh, I mean, this was, it's not nothing special here. It's just the stove. Added some nice hand towels, I guess. You have to add some humor to these Airbnbs, as you can see, because it really helps with everything. And here we are in the living room. This is like my favorite space, actually. We have this great couch that was donated from our good friend, Heather. This futon, which was donated from my good friend, Jasmine. Oh, she gave it to me at a good price. We got a nice cover on it. We got these orange pillows from Ollie's discount furniture, or Ollie's, I think that's all it's called. Oh, over here was just another end table that was donated, but I put a vinyl record player on it with one album at the moment. That's the Beatles, and people love it. And we see some green greenery here. It's fake. Probably not the best way to be hung up, but it's what I could do at the moment. Now, this is the living room entertainment center. So you got a nice 50 inch TV right here with a lot of games on the stand, which people love so far. I got good reviews. They said they love the games that I provided and it looked like they were playing cards and Uno. This spot is very unique and you probably won't see that too often. I put an L desk in here with the thought of maybe whoever's staying in the bedrooms, they want to come out here for some alone time and just look out the window, have some window daylight and do their work. Go on their laptop and do any business work, emails, YouTube, whatever they want. Like this is a cool spot to do whatever you want to do. Over there is the Eero mesh. So basically what these are, are Amazon's router system and they are meant to extend the Wi-Fi network. I have another one on the other end of this house and the Wi-Fi router is actually downstairs, but it just extends the Wi-Fi network and people need good Wi-Fi. Honestly, you probably don't need it because this place has Verizon Fios and it's not really that big, but whatever. Just another desk for them to play their games at and whatnot. This rug was bought from Amazon on Amazon Prime Day. It was only about like 90 bucks. That was the living room. Let's go to the bedrooms. Might as well show you this. This is basically just a kitchen pantry closet where I put a lot of cleaning supplies, some Swiffer stuff, the brooms, toilet paper, other paper. Guests really don't use that. That's more for me and my cleaners. First room we are going into. I call it the white room. You can see why, just white everywhere. Uh, this is a twin size bed. We got the white stand, white everything basically, except for that. We have a simple 32 inch TV here. They're all smart TVs in this house. So uh, it's a white table to do their work. I wall mounted this outlet, simple stuff. Everything's simple. Every room has one of these lamps. And the coolest thing about these lamps, every time you turn them on and off, it changes color temperature. So now that's soft white or daylight. This would be soft and this would be nighttime for you want, you want to get rid of that blue light and get ready to go to bed. That's really cool. I love these lights. They were like 40 to $55 on Amazon, depending on the color. So highly recommended. They even come with USB outlets to charge your phone and another outlet to plug whatever you want in there. Next, we'll go to the bathroom. It's honestly just a pretty simple bathroom. It's a full bathroom, shower, bathtub. We actually just installed a new toilet because the other one was iffy. So this one's cool because it has the soft close feature. 
I love these toilet seats. Highly recommended if you can, because yeah, they just won't slam. So I think it's cool. Now we'll go to the next bedroom. I don't really have a name for this bedroom yet, but they're all the same basically. This one has a full size bed. So these would be the bigger bedroom. So we got a full size bed, it's memory foam. They're really good. You can get them for like 200 bucks off Amazon. But also every bedroom has their own AC since there's no central air in this house. We have a 43 inch TV here. So the bigger bedrooms get the bigger TVs. They're all smart TVs, wall mounted to save on space. Did you triple tap? <laughs> triple tap does selfie mode. <laughs> see, the, my camera operator is new. <laughs> You'll see that this one also has the same lamp and it's just a different color. I try to match them as much as possible. Different colors. I like that one. Got a simple desk with a chair. These chairs are from Ikea. They were like 40 bucks. They're simple. I mean, they look good, they do the job. This table was like actually 40 bucks from Amazon and it was very easy to build, so that was cool. And then we just got a lamp here in case they want a lamp. Uh, every closet has their own hangers, simple stuff, pretty basic. Oh, the one thing I added was all these doors before the color was horrible and they had the round copper knobs, which are ugly. So I replaced them all with these modern handle doors and I love them. So everyone who's seen the place, they're like, oh, I love these handles. And dude, they were like, what, 16, 17 bucks off Amazon for the Amazon brand and highly recommend it. Get the black handles, they're good. Now we shall go to the final bedroom, the master bedroom. Uh, I actually also put on these house rules. I laminated these and just had them there just so that if guests were curious, this is what I would prefer as far as house rules, what not to do, what to do, the checkout procedures, yada, yada. This is the master bedroom. It's the biggest room. I also have a full size bed here. Honestly, looking back at it, I should have put a queen, maybe a king, but Hindsight 2020. We got the same lamp, this one's in black. Same 43 inch TV. They were bought on Amazon Prime Day for about 200-ish dollars. That was the best deal I could get at the time. Honestly, the best time to buy TVs is Black Friday. Last year, I got a 55 inch 4K TV for 200 bucks. Can't beat that. Since this room is bigger, there's a little bit more stuff. I was able to squeeze in a little night dresser drawer here. We also have another Eero mesh router to extend the Wi-Fi because this is one end of the house. The other one was on the other end of the house. Wi-Fi range is great. This table is from Ikea. It is about 20 bucks, depending on the color top you get. If you just get the white top with the white legs, it's gonna be about 20, 25 bucks. You get a gray or black top, it'll be like 30 bucks. It's weird how they charge extra for color. Oh, over here, this is just the laundry room closet for the cleaners whenever I have them come by this is where they would go to swap out laundry towels everything sheets pillows that's all there i mean that's pretty much it for this little house tour i spent about a whole month in here just getting like my friend to paint everything my other friends to come in to help decorate to help break down furniture oh, build furniture the whole process was awesome so if you didn't get a chance, watch that video. Hopefully I posted it already, but it's basically start to finish on how I made this Airbnb. So far, bookings have been insane. The revenue that's being generated is awesome. Pretty much at almost 100% occupancy since I listed it on July 4th. Today's July 11th, so it's been a week and it's basically been rented out every day except for one. And actually I have a guest coming in in about 30 minutes, which is why we wanted to get this video done today before it's rented out for the whole week because this whole week is already rented out and that's it. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up, smash the like button, and if you wanna see more stuff, subscribe for the journey. And with that, I'll see you next time. Hello. That's my videographer, AJ. I also painted this place. He helped paint the doors. <laughs>